class. Today we're going to be looking at dividing a square into half and into quarters. I think it would be fun if you did this too. You're going to need some paper, a pencil, and maybe an eraser. I'm going to use a marker so that you can see my marks. You'll need scissors and maybe a ruler. I have a lot of paper squares here, but you know that when you get a piece of paper, it doesn't really look like this. Instead, it looks much longer. So I'm going to show you how to take a longer piece of paper and make it a square. To make a square, I am going to take, the, take this side and put it along this side. So I'm going to fold my paper so that this side matches and that my corner right here is at a perfect little point. And then I'm going to fold it along there. Now you'll notice that there is kind of an edge here. And I am going to cut that with my scissors. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut right along that line and that will get rid of the edge of the paper so that when I open my triangle up, it becomes a square. Hmm. Did you know that when you fold a square in half, it makes a triangle? So I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna put it at one corner all the way down to the other corner. And I'm gonna hold my ruler because if I don't hold my ruler, it might move when I am drawing my line. I'm gonna hold it nice and still. And then I'm gonna draw right along the line. So I've divided it right in half. And do you see now that I have two halves of the square? Today, I am going to color half of this square. And I'm gonna use some chalk pastels to do that because they're so fast when I color. I can do it really quickly. Let's watch. How long do you think it will take? I am coloring half one out of the two pieces of the square. Look at that, half of my square has been colored. Oh, and my fingers a little bit too. Oh dear. Now, this is a square divided into two pieces. When you have one half, we write half as in one out of the two pieces, one over the two. The two tells us that our square is divided into two pieces. And the one tells us that we have one out of the two that are colored. I wonder if we can divide a square in half a different way. Let's try. Hmm, instead of doing one corner to the other corner, what if we did it straight up and down instead? Hmm, I suppose I could measure it and I see that it is almost 22 centimeters long and half of that would be about hmm, 11 centimeters so I could mark it about there or I could fold my paper in half. I'm going to try that. I'm going to put my ends together as carefully as I can and fold the paper and that will give me two halves of the paper. Now I am going to take a ruler and I hope that you're getting to do this too. I'm going to take my ruler and I am going to hold it tightly so that it doesn't move. Remember to hold it tightly and I'm going to draw a line dividing our square in half. This is a different way to draw and divide our square in half. There are two pieces now in the square and I'm going to color one out of the two pieces, one half. 
I'm gonna get my yellow, or not my yellow, my orange chalk pastels, and I am going to color half of the square. Can you color half of your square? There we go. Oh, my fingers are messy again. One out of the two pieces have been colored. Here are two different ways to divide your square in half. We can divide it diagonally, making two triangles, or we can divide it straight up and down, making two rectangles. I hope that you tried both ways. Did you have fun making your squares and dividing them in half today? I hope so. Squares aren't the only shape that you can divide in half. You could try this with a circle or a rectangle or a triangle. Try dividing things in half. You can do it with a pencil or scissors. I hope that you have fun practicing and playing with some shapes today. I hope that you have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.